I have upgraded my system uh, with the new uh, to, to Windows 10 and then I've uh, upgraded my audio drivers and uh, suddenly I became when starting uh, the message Dolby Home Theater the, that's the wrong version of the audio drivers in there. So uh, this what is uh, Dolby, uh, Dolby Home Theater? You will find it in the, your uh, devices, your speakers, and all this st that stuff with the right mouse button, button and the properties. You see a tab with Dolby. You may switch it on or off, and that's quite good when if you have a good sound machine. Uh, but it's you don't really quite quite often you don't need it. Uh, but if you have it, that's okay. And um, how to uh, solve this problem? You usually need um, a version of the audio drivers uh, compatible to the Dolby drivers. Now I, I have a link there. Uh, I downloaded. Let's see here uh, my. I downloaded, it happened when I downloaded from Realtek the uh, audio drives and uh, then I became those the, the message but what you have to do with here is uh, the solution is um, you have, may download it from the support side uh, of your uh, of the vendor of your machine and uh, this there's not no no other uh, downloading page of the uh, Dolby Home Theater uh, drivers, and for Sony this doesn't work because Sony uh, is was sold to an, to another vendor, and now you have uh, to wait uh, until you get those new Windows 10 drivers. Uh, but if you don't need, don't if you are if you are annoyed by those uh, by this message, you may go to the task manager, and then you have the auto start auto start uh, tab there, and you will find the audio profile selector there. And if you don't need it, you may deactivate it. Uh, otherwise, you have to wait, and you will get the new drivers from. Uh, the Sony page somewhere in, in let's say October.